Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to more of Survival Fountain of Youth. Here we are on the Island of Hope at my beach house, the Castillo de Coco. And today we are going to be talking about crafting. I divide crafting into three different tiers. Basic, Intermediate, and Advanced. Basic crafting only requires the tools you brought with you from the Santiago. While intermediate crafting will require you to use specific crafting stations to help create your items. And advanced crafting takes multiple steps to be able to craft your items, including refining of materials. This is the crafting interface. To get here, you have three different options. You can hit the Q key. This brings up the crafting interface and shows all the different blueprints that you can create. Other ways to do this is by hitting the tab key to open up your inventory. You can then click on a specific item, hit blueprints or hit the F key, and it will show you every single crafting blueprint that you know that takes that specific item. And lastly, if you are using a workbench, simply interact with it and it will show you all the different blueprints that can be created on that specific workbench. Now, when you are looking at one of these crafting interfaces, there are several different things you can do to help out. You can either scroll through all the uh, blueprints that you know. You can select these categories on the left hand side, these little pictographs. They're divided into food, medicine, tools, fire starters, on down through the list. Or you could search for a specific item. So say an axe. So you type an axe here and it will show you all of the axes that you can build. Now some items you will not yet know all the bits and pieces that go into it. Like this item. As you can see here, all of these have colored pictures. This one here for the berry compote is all grayed out. If we click on it, we can see the things that we already know about. The clean water and the akako fruit. But there's a third uh, item that we need that we do not know of. If we click on it though, it will tell us what it is. It is a fioja fruit. These can be gathered from fioja trees. Currently on the blueprint side, I have a copper pickaxe selected. The rest of the screen will show us information about this item. In the middle, we will have an image as well as a description of the item and its durability. To the right top, we have the requirements for making that item. This specific pickaxe requires a strong branch, a copper ingot, and a liana rope. Below that, we have the process properties. This process will require us to use a hammer and it will take 20 durability off that hammer. It requires the usage of a improved workbench and the entire crafting process will take one hour and 18 minutes. Below that, we have the select quantity, which allows us to figure out how many of these we want to craft. Since we only need one pickaxe, we're only crafting one. If you want to add uh, craft multiple items, you can hold down the shift key to add them in stacks of five. This is real helpful for things like ammunition or if you are cooking up food. And lastly, we have the back key and we have the place key. We hit this, we select our item. Once again, it will tell us some more information. Now it has the process properties up here. It shows us the hammer that we have selected just in case we have multiple hammers, we would be able to switch between them. And then it shows, once again, the time it will take. From here, we can either hit escape, cancel the item, or click on work or hit space for that. And there we go. It takes a little time, and now we have a brand new pickaxe to use. The nice thing about basic crafting is that you can do it anywhere. All it requires is your hands or maybe a simple tool. So if you're out on your raft or if you've just started off on a new island and you're on a beach and you need something to help you survive, these type of things are just really simple 
to craft. In fact, the very first thing you do in the game is craft. The game tells you to grab a coconut, split it open, and then drink the water from it. That is a very simple craft. Along the same lines are things like uh, taking the mollusks from the shells. This is a great source of both food and water. Also early on, you will want to be tech, uh, starting to protect yourself from the uh, sun and the rays. So you can take a couple, you know, narrow leaves here and turn them into a leaf cape, which provides you with some sun protection. Now, just because these are basic crafting skills, it doesn't mean that they're necessarily easy. We look here, a hut requires no workbench or anything else like that. It just requires a nice little axe. But it also takes four liana rope, four long sticks, two big branches, five wide leaves, and five narrow leaves. So just because it's basic doesn't mean that it's easy. Put this down here and we'll get it all set up. Now this is actually a really great sleeping area. It's better than most sleeping areas in the game, except for the actual bed that you can make, uh, make later on. Now, the last thing that's really good about basic crafting is sometimes you just need something immediately. For example, more ammunition for your arrows. Certain things, a lot of the ranged arrows, for example, you can create just by hand. So things like stone arrows, bone arrows, wood arrows, anything like that, you can kind of fall back to and just craft those by hand whenever you need it. So basic crafting, even in the end game, really has a purpose to be used. Up next, I'm going to be showing you some intermediate style crafting. This is a type of craft that will require a workbench. Now you could just be crafting a, an item straight on the workbench, or you might need to have multiple steps. In this case, we're going to be making an obsidian knife. And that requires an obsidian knife blade and a short handle. Fortunately, we don't have those right now, but we can make them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we are going to process this big branch into a short handle down here. All right, make our short handle. And we're going to come over here and we are going to make an obsidian knife blade down at the bottom. Make that up. And now we have our components to make our obsidian knife. Quick, easy, and it's actually a really good knife to use. It's very, very efficient. Much better than the stone knife that you use early on. Another example of... Intermediate cell crafting is actually your cooking stations. You can go and pick berries and citrus off the trees or eat coconuts as much as you want, but eventually you are going to have to start cooking your food. So in this case, we are going to be cooking up some fresh soup. So fresh soup requires us to have five raw pieces of fish, which we already have and it requires some clean water. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go over to the water tank up top here. And if you're gonna do something with water, you're going to need the hearth with the pot. It's the level tier three uh, cooking area. So we're gonna go over to the water tank and we are going to add some water from our Tigu skin flask, flask into the hearth with a pot. So there we go. We've we put in 11 units of water, which is more than enough. So we're going to start our fire so we can start doing some cook. All right, there we go. And then we're going to go down to our fresh soup and we're going to make ourselves a fresh bowl of fishy goodness. Look at that, 68 food, 55 water, 14 health regen over 33 minutes. This is good stuff. Eat. We are now moving on to the advanced crafting. Now advanced crafting requires multiple steps to be able to create your item. Now the first item we're going to create 
is on our chemistry workbench here. This is an item that you could see in the demo, but we could not yet create it. And that is the clay and the egg ointment. Now, this is a really good healing ability. It cures every single type of cut and every single type of burn. And it, can, it cures all four uh, disease degrees. So if you have the infected burn or the infected wound, it takes care of it all. And it restores 17 health. So this is a an ointment that you are going to want to have several with you probably at all times. Now to make this, it's going to require two eggs, one bird of paradise flower, and one clay strip. So what we're going to do is we'll step over to our pottery workbench, and we're going to make four of these clay strips out of one piece of clay. Go, And we can step back, and now we can make our clay and egg ointment. There we go. So a multiple step process to make, you know, a more advanced type of item. The last thing I want to show you is one of the more, the most difficult things, the most advanced thing to make right now in the early access. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making something on our improved workbench. Specifically, we are going to be making a jacket with copper plates. Now the jacket with copper plates requires us to make a leather jacket first and then use three copper ingots. And for our leather jacket, it requires us to have two pieces of leather, two rope made out of skin, and two tendon threads. So we have a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do. First off, let's get our leather going. So we come over here to our Tanner workbench Obviously, this looks a heck of a lot different than that little one we used to have. We're going to make our tendon thread out of some animal tendon. All right. So there are our, the two tendon thread that we're going to need. Next, we are going to process some of the fresh hides we have. Because we need to take this processed hide now we need to go over here and we need to dry this process tide out before we can use it. So it's going to be up here and it's going to be drying for 12 hours. I have already dried another one over here, so we're just going to pick this guy up. So now we have three dried hide and we're going to turn some of this into leather. Now to get our leather, we're going to require dried hide and we are also going to require some clean water and some tree bark oh, looks like I forgot my tree bark let's grab some of that and we're going to step over to our big solar water distiller this is how we get enough water to run this thing by the way so these took a while to make and we are going to Go to our output tank, and we are going to take some water into our flask. We're going to come over here to this water tank on the tanner workbench, and we're going to put the water from our flask into the workbench. So now we are going to be able to use the uh, tanner workbench to process these dried hides into pieces of leather. So if we come up here, we should now... Oh, we didn't make our rope out of uh, skin, so hang on a second. We need to... We have our other dried hide here, so let's... Take this, and we will craft it. Into rope skin. We need the workbench for that. Is that? There it is. Craft that up. And now we can make this guy right here. We are going to require uh, require a needle for that. So let me grab my needle. There are my needles. Ooh, I hope I have enough crafting left on them. 
or we'll have to make more. There we go. So we're going to craft our leather jacket now. All right, so we now have our leather jacket. Now we could just wear the leather jacket, but what's better than a leather jacket? It's a jacket with copper plates stapled to the front of it. So what we need to do now is we need to get some copper. Now I've already mined some copper here. We have a piece of copper ore right here. There's the other piece that we need. All right. Now to power this guy here, we're going to need some coal. To make the coal, we need to come over here and burn twigs to make coal. So now we can turn on our smelter and we will take this one that I've already finished, but we will add these two here and this will start to smelt as soon as we turn it on or copper ore into copper ingots. But now we have our three copper ingots, so we are headed back over to our improved workbench. And we are going to craft up the jacket with the copper plates. Now, ooh, I'm actually going to have to make a copper, another needle. Give me just a second, I'll do that. All right, so I have made my copper needle now. And now we can finish our current project, which is the jacket with copper plates. And there you go. Now we have one of the most advanced crafts, probably the most advanced craft right now in the early access. And this has really nice protections, 25% sun, wind, rain, heat, 12 armor, 7% chance to decrease wounds, 7% chance to decrease poisoning, it's absolutely wonderful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of walkthrough of the crafting that is currently available in the early access. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you have any questions that aren't related to crafting, but might be something else, please leave those down below as well. If you have suggestions or something that you would like me to cover in a future video for Survival Fountain of Youth, please leave those ideas down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please uh, subscribe and like all of this content, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.